Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Mikhail, and I'll be taking you through today's class. If this is your first time joining us. We ask that you speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. We'll start with a quick warm up. You're going to get your nice and relaxed. You have your feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to start with some nice neck rolls. You're going to bring your head around in a circle. Get it nice and loose first before we begin class. We'll go one more in this direction and then we'll switch sides. And go ahead and switch. Bring your head around the other way. Get nice and controlled. You don't need to rush through this. Let's do one more. Very nice. Next up, you'll have your arms up to the side. You're going to bring them in a circle, all right? I want your belly button in with that pelvic tilt. You have nice soft knees. You have your feet a little wide on the shoulder width if you'd like. And five, four, three, two, and switch directions. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now you can widen your feet a little bit more. Get a nice good base. We're going to now rotate side to side. So you can have your arms move with your torso, get your upper body nice and loose, everything on the same page. Give that a little bit of hip movement with it as well. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we'll add a little bit of lower body movement as well. You can do it one of two ways. You can do side steps, you can move your arms in and out, or you can add in a small lunge behind and come up, all right? So you can do it one of two ways based on your comfort level or if there's a certain movement you prefer. You can either go side to side or add in a little bit of a lunge right behind. You can do either or, so we'll get your body moving, get your heart rate up a little bit, and your blood flowing. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. <clears throat> next up, we'll do heel toe raises. You can do this next to a wall or a countertop, anything if you'd like for a little bit of support. All these exercises, you can do that way if you would like. Um, give yourself a little more support as you're bound. So to start, you're gonna go up on your toes nice and tall, and then back on your heels, right? You wanna make sure you don't either lean too far back, or if you're on your toes, you're going to lean forward, right? You want to make sure you stay in a nice line coming up and a line coming back, all right? That's where those soft knees come in handy. And then that pelvic tilt. So again, bringing your belly button in, shifting your hips down. That helps engage the core. As do these exercises. Because we're not used to going having our weight back on our heels. This might be a little bit of movement as you go back. But you don't want to lean back with it. So again, if you want to hold on to something when you do it, feel free. Give yourself some support as you get better at it. Let's do three more. And three. Two. And final one. Very nice. All right. Next up, we'll get into a balanced stance. We have one of four stances. You need to go feet together. You can go one foot in front of the other with some space between them. You can go heel toe or single leg. All right. So they get more challenging as you progress between those four balance stances. So you're going to get into your balance stance and we're going to hold it. All right. So the belly balance exercises, soft knees, keep this belly button in. That will help with your balance. Keep yourself nice and um, grounded. And you can add in, we're going to do some Head turn side to side, so now one shoulder to the other. Then we're gonna look up at the ceiling and down at the floor, all right? So we're going from one shoulder to the next, and then up to the ceiling, down the floor. Keep moving things all around. Make sure, again, nice soft knees. We'll go five more seconds, then we'll switch legs. 
And go ahead and switch legs. So anything where you're one foot in front of the other, heel toe or single leg. Good feet together, you're doing the same thing you were doing. And here we go. So looking from one shoulder to the next, and then up at the ceiling and down to the floor. All right, kind of all four points, north, south, east, and west. And then one to the other, up and down. So we'll do five more seconds. Very nice. Go and relax. Next up, what we will do. This one, again, you can do it holding on to a countertop or next to a wall. You're going to start with a squat. So you're going to bring, sink your hips straight back, keeping your chest up. Stand all the way up. And then a side leg raise, all right? So then you'll be lifting one leg off to the side, back down, and back into the squat, all right? So all the way up, lifting the leg up to the side and down, all right? So again, if you want to hold on to something in front of you, you can go into the squat, come up, go on the side leg, and repeat, all right? Focus on each movement in this. So squat first, stand all the way up, and then lift your leg to the side, reset, and then squat, all right? So focus on each individual movement instead of just kind of rushing through it. I'm missing and four cues is standing all the way up, lifting the side, back down, and squat, all right? We'll go for 40 seconds with this exercise. Here we go. So you're gonna squat down, Stand up and leg raise. You don't have to go all the way on the floor. You can go a nice quarter squat if you'd like. Go as far as your range of motion lets you while keeping some good form. You know, make sure you're sinking your hips back as you do this. And protect your knees, making sure you don't shift forward behind your toes. Let's do one more each side. Very nice. All right, next exercise, feel free to grab a set of weights. If you don't have weights, you can use anything as a substitute from water bottles, soup cans, laundry detergent, anything you can hold in your hand. So for this one, we'll be doing, you're getting to a balanced stance, so get either feet together, one foot from the other, or heel toe, and you're going to, we're gonna do bicep curls, all right? So your palms facing up, elbows by your side, and then bring this weight up towards your shoulders, lower back down, and repeat, all right? So nice and controlled, bring them up to your shoulders, and down while well, in your balanced stance. Remember, this is important to have the Nice soft knees, you don't want to lock them, and with that pelvic tilt. Let's do three more, then we'll switch sides. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Now we'll switch, so now the other foot in front, and we'll do the same thing, all right? So bring this weight up and down. Nice and controlled, don't feel like you have to rush through it. And that belly button in, that pelvic tilt, soft knees. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice, set these weights off to the side. All right. Next up, what we will be doing. Again, you can do this next to a countertop or wall if you'd like some support. You're going to lift one leg off to the side and then bend it in forward, all right? So this is what it'll look like. So you're lift it off to the side and bend it forward and back down, all right? So this one, as you bend it, Board. Go as far as your range of motion lets you. You don't have to come all the way up so it's at a 90 degree angle. Even a small lift here. Go as far as your range of motion lets you. So we'll start all on one leg. Then you're going to lift this off to the side, bring it in, and then up. All right, same thing. Focus on each individual part of the movement. So you're lifting it up, 
and then resetting, all right? We have 30 seconds each side, and this leg that's planted, same as all the other balance exercises, you want that nice and soft, and that pelvic tilt, all right? Help keep yourself nice and grounded, nice and still as you move. Your weight changes, and it shifts on that other foot as you kind of move back and forth. Let's do two more, then we'll switch sides. Here's two, and final one. Very nice, feel free to shake out your legs a little bit, and then we'll switch sides, all right? So next up we'll go again, out to the side, and straight up, all right? Here we go. So out to the side, straight up, you're switching sides. And you can have your arms by your side, you can have them at your chest, you can have them holding on to something, even just fingertips, just so you feel like you have that support. And you're almost there. Let's do three more. We got last one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do a very quick stretch. <clears throat> do a stretch for your side so you can have your feet. Might want them a little bit wider than shoulder width. I have one arm. You're going to raise it over your head and start to kind of lean off towards the side. So you'll feel a stretch all on the side as you go. If you have, see if this bothers your shoulder, you can even just keep your arms by your side and lean over as you feel this stretch. You have the opposite arm, you can rest it on your leg. Or if you even want to rest it on something next to you, feel free. And we'll hold it. And five, four, three, two and one, slowly come out of that. Now we'll switch sides, same thing, reach on over and hold it. And five, four, three, two and one, slowly come on up. All right, next exercise, we'll do a nice heel toe walk. So this you can do it next to the wall or countertop if you want some support. You're going to start in your one foot in front of the other, a little bit closer than you would if you were just walking kind of straight down the road. So almost like you're on a tightrope, you're going to bring them in a little bit closer, you walk forward, and then the closer you bring your feet, the more challenging you get. So you can start off so they're spaced out, you feel comfortable with that, you can start to move a little bit closer, both in distance and kind of in line with each other. Once you're touching heel toe, that's the most challenging it gets. And you go heel toe, and then you can add in some backwards as well. So you can walk backwards. And as long as you only need a few paces, you don't have to go you know, the whole length of your living room if you don't like. And after you go, you know, four or five paces should be good enough. You go forward and then backwards right after. And you can even add in some head turns side to side. You can start with all forwards if you're not comfortable yet going backwards. Don't feel like you have to add in the backwards quite yet. It is a challenging exercise to do. And then you'll go forwards. We'll do one more down and back. Perfect. All right. We'll do one more exercise and we'll move down to the floor. So next up we will do is a heel raise, but now we're going to have our feet facing out. All right. So almost like it's a V. So you'll have a V and you're going to go same thing though, up on your toes and back down. Going straight up and down. And again, if you want to support something near you, feel free to do that as well. All right. So up on the toes, back down and repeat. Nice control, and soft knees, belly button in. Now your toes face out, it just works the muscle in the back of your leg a little bit differently. Um, All right, let's do three more. And final one. Very nice. All right, we're gonna take a quick water break.
vertebrae could move down to the floor. So feel free, you can go from the floor, from a mat, from your bed, whatever you have at home that's comfortable to you and accessible. And then we'll do the rest of the exercise on the floor. Bring a band if you would like one. We'll do some band stuff if you um, like a little more resistance. You don't have to use a band, uh, but you won't need any weights. All right. Take a quick water break. We'll be back here in a minute or two and finish off with class. All right. All right, as everybody comes back, we'll start our first All right, so you'll start on your side. We're going to start with clam shells. If you want, you can have the band right above your knee. You might do a few exercises with it like this. So on your side, you can have your knees bent, feet together. You want to raise your top leg off the bottom one so that you're in lower back down and make sure your hips stay lined over each other. You don't want to roll back or forward. So you just want to keep everything nice and lined, raise this leg up and down. Again, if you want to add some resistance, you can add a band right above your knees, all right? And we'll go for 30 seconds. Here we go. So you're raising it up and down. Nice controlled. You can have either a pillow underneath your head. You can use uh, your arm if you'd like, whatever's most comfortable for you. All right, let's do three more. So we got three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, we'll stay on this side before we roll over. Now you're going to straighten out your legs. If you want the band, you'll keep it in the same spot. Now you're going to lift this top leg up and lower it back down. All right. You could bend the bottom leg if it's more comfortable. And again, you should raise this top leg up, lower it back down. Same positioning by keeping these hips stacked over each other and just raising it up off the Floor, your other leg and lower it back down. All right. We'll go for a total of 30 seconds. Here we go. So you raise it straight up, lower it down, and repeat. All right. Nice and controlled. 
And again, if you want to bend, you can add it right above your knee. Give yourself a little more resistance and a challenge as you do this exercise. Let's do three more in three, two, and last one. Very nice. Now we will switch sides. And we'll go back to the clamshells, all right? So on your side, again, either a pillow or your arm underneath your head, and you're going to raise this top leg up, lower it down, and repeat, all right? Feet together, legs bent, raising it up and down keeping your hips stacked over each other. Let's do it for 30 seconds. And again, band right above your knee if you want it. You don't need it, only if you choose to do so. And let's go three more. So three, two, and final one, very nice. Now you're going to straighten out that top leg. And we're gonna do this the leg raises. So you're gonna lift this leg off the bottom one, lower it down and repeat, all right? Same thing with this one, we'll go for a total of 30 seconds. You don't need to bring this up too high. This is up to a point that is comfortable and lower it back down. And 30 seconds, here we go. So raise this leg up. And down. Again, you can bend the bottom leg. If it's more comfortable, keep it straight. You can, but sometimes I think that might be more comfortable. And again, bend right above the knee if you wish to add a little bit more resistance to this exercise. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Now you go on to your backs. You can keep the band on if you'd like. We'll do one more. So similar to the clamshell motion, but now you are on your back. So your knees bent, so you have to have your feet together. You can have a pelvic tilt in this exercise. So that means shifting your hips towards the floor, bringing your belly button in. It decreases speed from the back of the floor that engages your core, helps protect your back. So you can keep the band above your knees and you're going to try to lower your legs down towards the floor, raise it back up and repeat, all right? You just with or without a band. The band adds more resistance and go as far as your range of motion lets you. You won't get all the way down the floor if you use a band. And if you uh, tie hips, you might not make it down the floor either. So go as far as your range of motion lets you and nice controlled movement with this one. And you're just in a clamshell, but now you're on your back. Let's do three more. So here's three, two, and final one. Very nice. Feel free to take off that band if you'd like. We're now gonna go into some lower trunk rotation. So this one you can keep it on if you'd like, you won't have any resistance, but if you don't wanna take it off quite yet. So you're gonna have your arms kind of out towards your side. You're gonna lower your hips and legs down towards the floor or bed, wherever you are at home. You're gonna raise it back up and then bring it down towards the other side, all right? You can add a few second pause if you'd like a little more of a stretch on this exercise. So say if you want to make it down on the floor, you wanna add a little pause here, stretch it out the back, and then you'll rotate your legs towards the other side, all right? Let's go for 30 seconds, here we go. and you're switch back and forth and alternating. And you're almost there. Let's do one more each side. Very nice. All right, next up we'll do a quick stretch. 
You're going to straighten out one leg. The other one will be bent. You're going to grab your leg behind the knee, the one that's bent, and you're going to gently pull it in towards your body. All right? Then you want to gently do it. You don't want to force anything. So you hold on behind the back of the knee, gently pull it in, and you'll hold it. We'll do it for 30 seconds. We're already part way there. And one leg out straight, the other one you're bringing in towards your chest. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that stretch. And now we'll switch sides. So bring this opposite leg in towards your chest. You can grab behind that knee, pull it in towards your chest. And again, ease into the stretches. Don't feel like you have to force anything. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of this one. We got one final exercise for the day. We'll do a straight leg raise. So we're going to bend one leg, keep one straight. That totally pointed towards the ceiling. You can have your arms by your side. You're going to raise this leg up to behind the other leg. Lower it back down and repeat. All right, nice and controlled with this exercise, bringing it up and down. And again, you've got a pelvic tilt of this exercise, protect the back and engage the core. We'll go for a 30 seconds each leg. Here we go. So raise this up. Lower it down and repeat. Nice and control the movements. And you're almost there. Let's do three more in three, two, and final one. Very nice. Now we'll switch sides. Last one, finish off strong. Here we go. So raise this up and lower. And you want to keep that leg straight. You can have that pelvic tilt. Let's do three more. And last one, very nice. And that concludes Strong and Balanced for the day. Thank you everybody for joining.